a new tool is being integrated into Cyril that's going to allow you to take your pictures from looking like this to looking like this. And today, I'm going to show you how it works. In Cyril 1.4, we're going to get an integration with a tool called Graxpert. You might know this tool already as it is already a standalone tool. And we actually already have some features from it in Cyril already. We are currently in the Cyril 1.4.0 um, beta 3. So this is the beta test. It's not the final 1.4 release, but we are going to still look at the tool as I think it's pretty cool what it can do. But before you can use it, there's a few steps you need to go and do. First, you need to head to the Graxpert homepage and you need to download the version of the tool that fits your operating system. It's a free tool, so you can just go ahead and download this. The installation is pretty straightforward. The only thing you need to pay attention to is where the tool is being installed. It shows you that during the installation phase. Because once you're done with this, you need to head back into Cyril and we're gonna go up here to the burger menu in the corner. And then you're gonna go to preference. And on the preference, you go to miscellaneous. And down here, you can see that you have the Graxpert X that you need to set. I have already set mine here because I've been testing it. But basically, this should be empty for you. And you can click on that. You browse to where this thing is installed. And you select the Graxpert.exe. Click open. And now it's set. Now, there is a few more steps you need to do in order to get it to work. One of the things that I found to be helpful in order to get it fully working in Cyril, as I had a bit of an issue in the beginning, was to open the tool itself. So open the standalone tool, go to advanced, and make sure you have your models that they are available over here. There are two models, both one for background extraction and one for the denoising. And if they're not available, Try to actually, it's really weird, try to make sure that your system clock is synced up with the time servers, because if your system clock is off, for some reason, it can't find the, um, <laughs> the, the models that it's going to use. So make sure that you have those here, and then we can jump back into several. I have an image right here that we're going to use as an example. We're just going to apply a quick auto stretch like so. This is of the Macarian chain. We can see we have quite a bit of a gradient here. Now, I mentioned that we already had some functionality from Graxpert already in this tool. Because if we go to the normal gra uh, background extraction, what it will do is it will generate these points and it will then use these points to compute the background. And then it will try to neutralize the background using that. And you can see over here in Graxpert, if we go to the background extraction area, we can pretty much do the same thing. But it now has more functionality that we can use to make this a lot easier. Because if we go up here in Cyril, go up to scripts, Cyril script files, sorry, Python script files, processing, and then go to the Graxpert AI Python file here. Here we go. We then get this fancy interface. And again, if you are having issues, now we're using the background extraction with the, you don't have any models available. It's a good idea to go down here to the Graxpert model manager. That's going to open up an interface here. And if the models are not, uh, they should be listed here now. And you can click the download selected models if you haven't done that already. That's just another debugging step if you are having issues. But basically the background, there's two parts to this. There's background extraction and denoising. The background extraction now basically allows us to use a AI model to determine the background instead of us having to manually sit and, um, and set all those points. So all we really need to do now is just to select the model we want to use. We want to select how aggressive we want these, um, the background extraction to be. We need to click apply. And in just a few seconds, there we go. We now have a much more even background. We just if we flip back and forth. See, that was before. Very light, very dark down here. Flip it over and it's now neutralized it a lot more. I still think the other method is a little bit more accurate, but this does um, quite a lot and we get quite far actually. But what I think is more interesting, of course, is the denoising. We're gonna jump over to the denoiser, keep it at 50%. We have the latest model selected and we're gonna click apply. Now, this does take like a minute or two. So you can see it taking up here. We're at 10% now. So just be uh, be patient with it. And I should probably say while we are waiting for this to finish, if you're having any issues again with any models not being available here, once again, you head down to the Graspert model manager and you select the latest model and you do download it so you make sure you actually have the model available. Okay, but while we've been talking, it has finished. Now, at first, it might look like it didn't do much. Um, but if we go and switch between them here, as you can see this is before, 
and this is after it looks like all the stars got brighter and the galaxy got brighter the reason it does that is not because it brightens up the galaxies but it's because you get a better signal to noise so the signal from the stars is higher but since i think the way auto stretching work in serial is it basically tries to get a even background level and then stretches everything up from there and that's of course why when we lower the noise that just means it stretches it more and that's just also why we see the stars being uh, and the galaxy being brighter so um it is doing what it should do now there is a bit of an issue here i'm going to show it to you now um just so you can see what it can actually do for real because there's a weird integration here because if i go into um let's just go back so we have that that hasn't been noise reduced yet and if i go and just denoise this let's go here denoise just crank this up full tilt and i apply that there we go fully denoised now but you can see this does not look very good and you might say oh this is because of some etching things and and that, unfortunately no that's not really the case but it has been denoised and it just looks this weird because Cyril is um over stretching it and um, and it has something to do with the, with the auto stretching it does in Cyril I'm gonna prove it to you if we just jump over here to Graxpert itself which is the tool we are calling and I'm just going to quickly go and do a background extraction with it. And if we now go and run the denoise at full strength, there we go. Now look at this. If we zoom into the same galaxy as we saw before, this is the denoised and auto stretched in Graxpert. This was the original and denoised. I, that is a massive, oh, that is a massive, massive change. And just to again prove that the issue here is with the auto stretch and not with the implementation in Cyril. And if we jump back in Cyril, I just saved the image we just denoised over in uh, in Graxpert. And if I import this here, so this new image, and here you have it, that's the image that we just denoised over in uh, in Graxpert that look nice and even, look really pretty over there. And if I apply an auto stretch to it over here in Cyril, we get that same blotchy color palettes. So it definitely has something to do with the auto stretching in Cyril that doesn't necessarily play nice with the denoising in Graxpert if you are too aggressive with it. Um, but just because I want to test it, I'm just going to take the original file here and we're going to run it through the paces again. And then I'm going to try to do a manual stretch and see if I can get a better result. Okay, there we have it that's just a very quick manual stretch here and as you can see when we're looking at the galaxy from before it's a lot cleaner right I, we don't have a whole lot of noise around it here as we saw in the beginning so the noise reduction that we used with grax but even though we cranked it up to like one which you probably shouldn't do in normal circumstances but we still got a very decent result out of it so it is just something with the auto stretch that just does not play ball maybe that's something they can fix I, I don't know, but at the very least, I think it's going to be super cool when we get this tool in for real after the beta testing has ended. And by the way, if any of you spotted this little weird color palette over here, I have another video showing what that is, because that's actually quite interesting. I'll link that at the end card. If you want to keep yourself updated with the latest news in the world of astro processing software, then do subscribe to the channel. I try to update you guys whenever new things happen and new features are added. So whatever it is, it was very slowly drifting through the frame. I'm not sure what it is, but I want to find out. But it doesn't mean it's done a good job. We can already see here that there are some of these squares that are not very good. So the way I recommend you do it is you 